Hello and welcome to day 40 of our 100 Days of Essential Oils event. My name is Sunny Busby with nloveit2.com and I'm a team leader from the wellnessadvocatesofhope.com. Today I am excited to introduce to you one of our very fragrant and floral essential oils, geranium. Now geranium is an interesting one because geranium is one of the most used oils in the perfume market. So when we're introduced to geranium essential oil, we expect it to smell a certain way. And we expect it to smell like the candles or like the perfumes that we've experienced. Well, this is one great example of how pure essential oil is very different from a synthetic perfume product. Now the synthetic perfume product may originate from the natural essential oil originally, um, but it's just like a lot of the other synthetics that are on the market that at one point may have been part of a plant, may have been a natural thing, but they, they create it in a lab so that it produces a certain scent or a certain smell. Geranium essential oil is one of those. The bottle of essential oil geranium smells way different than the perfume. Now, alone, it is not my favorite. And I keep smelling it because I'm trying to describe it. Um, it's really herby. It's very green. Um, it's not necessarily as sweet and floral as you would expect it to be. Now, I do like geranium when it's mixed with Lang Lang and lavender. Interestingly enough, Lang Lang, and we'll get to that down the road, obviously that'll be one of our latter oils, but Lang Lang is also an essential oil that I don't like by itself. But when you combine it with geranium, it's beautiful and very floral and very fragrant and very perfumey at that point. So I like that combination of Lang Lang, geranium, and then I like to add in some lavender. It's a beautiful combination. Even adding in some basil would be beneficial for that. And there's a lot of emotional benefits that come with that and a lot of physical benefits that come with that. But geranium essential oil on its own is very potent and powerful. It is wonderful to help promote the appearance of clear, healthy skin. A lot of spas will take geranium essential oil and blend it with cypress and use it to help promote healthy legs. They, they mix it in some coconut oil or maybe just some any carrier oil. You can use olive oil but they'll use it and vigorously rub it on the legs and they'll notice that it helps to create a vibrant healthy glow for the legs and, and just really helps to improve the appearance of the legs overall. So it's beneficial in that way. Geranium is known for helping to naturally repel insects and it's also amazing for the hair. So you'll see that a lot of beauty products, especially essentially oil-based beauty products will actually incorporate geranium into them because it does have such a great effect and is very beneficial to help beautify the skin. One of my favorite uses for geranium is to actually create a steam facial by filling a bowl with hot steamy water, putting a couple drops of geranium, I like to do some lavender and some frankincense in it, and then you put a towel over you and you let that steam kind of penetrate. And the combination of the steam and the essential oils not only smells amazing, but is so great and so beneficial for helping to open the pores and really just beautify the skin. It's wonderful if you add it to your moisturizer for a soothing effect. And then it's also great in your shampoo and conditioner. Geranium in particular is great for both dry and oily hair. So if you add a drop or two to your conditioner, um, you'll see that you'll receive deeper impacts with that. Aromatically, geranium is very calming. So when I like to diffuse, again, my favorite combination with geranium is geranium, lang lang, lavender, and basil. And that combination is very calming, very soothing, but it's also very floral. So if you're one of those people that likes flower candles or likes potpourri and things like that, give geranium a try along with those other oils. I think you'll see that it's not only smells great, but unlike the synthetic items that you're going to get on the market, you'll actually experience a physically positive, uplifting sensation. So I hope that helps you. I'd love to hear how you've used geranium in your home. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on our 100 Days of Essential Oils event.